Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. It's Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That means it's time for the new and experienced investor podcast. We are the podcast that brings real estate investors from all walks of life together. I'm one of your hosts. I'm the new guy, Alex Barnett. And my name is Joe Holmes, and I am the experienced guy. Yeah. Your experience has been coming in handy this whole Lately, last week. Yes, yeah. it has. It has. <laughs> He's been putting I, out. I mean, I leave for a week and the world falls apart. <laughs> yes. You know? It was scary. It was scary, but then he came back and now we're on track. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that today. But okay. um, we do have a guest in studio. We're super happy about it. Um, we have Natalie Kachtanova here. She's going to talk about out-of-state investing as well as what it's like being a Southern California realtor. Um, we're going to bring her in in just one second. But first, let's talk about uh, the meetup that we have coming up April 22nd, Hangar 24. That's all I know about it. Perfect. You, you were setting up the speaker, <laughs> I so am. I don't know anything about it okay. other than April 24th. April 22nd. Oh, 22nd. <laughs> Hangar 24. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the the guest that we're bringing in is actually, it's a group. Um, they're from Sub2 Mentorship. That's how I know them. But their whole focus is on creative finance. So pretty much all their deals are creative finance. And they do a lot of wholesaling. Okay. They take some acquisitions. Uh, they keep some acquisitions for themselves. But they, they get really into the weeds with it. And I think it'd be kind of a, a cool discussion and talk about how they've helped out some sellers in some sticky situations and how they've, um, I guess, turned like a really weird situation with sellers into a profitable one. So could be could be good for everybody. So nice. that's good. Yeah. And then uh, this last month we had Burton from PropStream mm -hmm. and that was a huge success. I had a lot of people said they really enjoyed it and and they're looking forward to, you know, pulling some of those lists and reaching out to people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and don't forget my uh, my link that'll get you two dollars off. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, i i have a I have a URL for it, but I I forget what it is. But we'll just okay. We'll put it in the we'll description. Fi we'll find out. <laughs> we'll put it in the description so you can get some some money off of that. But let's go ahead and bring it over to our guest, Natalie Kachtanova. How you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, hi everybody. Um. Uh, so uh, I need to share my experience investing with Florida, why, right? Why don't Florida? you, like, introduce yourself? Oh. Obviously, there's an accent there. And I don't know if I've ever asked you, but where is that from? And when you came to this country, I'm oh. assuming you weren't born here. So you came here from your country of origin. And when you yes. got started in real estate? Um, I was born in Russia and... Um, uh, we came to America like 27 years ago. Um, I don't know why everybody keeps saying I have an accent. <laughs> but <laughs> I can't even tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm in real estate for 10 years. Um, we started with big company like Coldwell Banker, Home Smart, but they charge so much. So I turn over with Joe, and uh, I like it a lot because there's many like youngsters that give me power, energy, and like new ideas. Um, so. It, about my investment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I sold my house, divorced uh, three years ago, and like uh, cash was burning in my pocket. So I was trying to buy here somewhere in California three years ago, and the market was crazy, still crazy. Um, so uh, my friend uh, uh, had investment in Florida, so I just wrote an offer 
never seen the property on Zillow, like on the pictures, I wrote an offer. They accepted my offer. I flew to Florida and uh, location was terrible. So I canceled that offer and I have like five days to find another property. Um, yeah, I found it. It used to be Airbnb also. So they sell me, sold me the house with the furniture, with client, list of the client, with uh, cleaning lady and um, the, uh, how they call it, uh, the guy who is fixing all the stuff. So like in one pocket. So and I'm still doing this Airbnb like for like almost three years. Um, uh, market in Florida is totally different than here. There's a lot of inventory and prices like. Uh, mm -hmm. For 300, 350, you can buy three bedroom, two bathroom house, single family home, and rent it out almost like 1% rule working there. So for 3,000, you can rent it out. Um, uh, what else should I say? Yeah, and I'm, uh, oh, b because uh, like six, last six months, the market was slow. So I, I passed the uh, uh, re realtor uh, exam. exam for mm -hmm. Florida, mm -hmm. and I passed the uh, mortgage uh, loan originator for Florida and for California. So I want to do like double deep for both states. Uh, yeah, if, if somebody is looking to to buy in Florida, you, you're welcome. I, I'll show you. You can stay at my house in Florida. I'll show you around. Uh, yeah, it's uh, some good areas, some bad areas. Some have like uh, public utilities, public water. Some have septics. So it's different. Yeah, I, I learned a lot about the Florida mm -hmm. market, like Sarasota, particularly I'm, Sarasota. I'm looking for a property in Florida. Let's do it. Yeah. Nice. So we can stay at your furnished Airbnb there, huh? Please, yeah. yeah wow. I, give, I give you a discount, yeah. Oh, a discount. All right. Oh, so okay. you said it's in Sarasota? Sarasota. Yeah, I was thinking between Sarasota and Miami. Um, I was a little bit uh, scared about Miami because it's huge HOA fees. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, Sarasota, no HOA. So. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And, and that's kind of cool that you just, you know, you... You, you you went sight unseen on the first property, then that's good that you at least went out there and you were like, okay, this place is scary, mm -hmm. and then pivoted to an actual business. So you essentially yeah. bought a business, yeah. and you've been running it how, how it's been like for the last three years? Yeah, almost three years. Oh, yeah. my gosh, that's great. Yeah, I'm thinking to build like a pool and ADU there because the – the uh, backyard is huge. Lot okay. Is huge there. Wow. And is there a lot of competition in Sarasota itself? Um. I'm itching right now to buy something else, but my, my my lender said, no, 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 wait, it's going to be a lot of inventory, so you can go anytime, like, yeah. <laughs> no, no rush. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's what I hear in, in Florida, that the market is going down. Is that correct? Or? A lot of homes for sale. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I hear mostly, mostly it's like condominiums um, that are for sale. And then, uh, what about, um, insurance? Do you have issues with insurance You need there? to watch if it's in the flood zone or not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my house, the tree fell down on my roof. So, um, it, it, but they didn't charge too much. They didn't increase insurance too much. It was like good, but you have to watch if it's a flood zone or not. Yeah. And yeah. the tree fell down because uh, the hurricane hurricane. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Well, so we deal with earthquakes here in California, oh, yeah. and you deal with hurricanes over Florida, there. Yeah. Wow. Okay. How long did that? What I guess uh, stop the Airbnb. How long did that take until you got back up and running with the tree on the roof? Maybe six months. Okay. Yeah, I, I lock one room, the one that was a hole. So I told yeah. them instead of three bedroom, now it's two bedroom. <laughs> there you <laughs> yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And and so, um, how was it? Stepping into the short-term rental, you know, game without, I guess, owning any before that. Was it hard or you had a property manager? Everything was already set up. Neighbor, yeah, very good neighbor. He's watching whoever is showing up. What do you, what are you doing here? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and if he, he do, they don't tell, mention my name, they mm -hmm. like, okay, get out of here. And he has a huge dog. <laughs> so. mm, there you go. That's, that's the type of neighbor to have. Yeah. That's yeah. a really good neighbor. Uh -huh. yeah. How'd you make yeah. that connection? Oh, I don't know, just being sweet probably just came out. Oh, that's my new neighbors. Yeah. 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 She's very sweet. She is yeah. very sweet. Yeah, I can tell. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Do you mind like sharing some of the numbers? Um, I guess like kind of what you get on a monthly basis and I, I'm assuming it's seasonal or how does that work as far as the Florida market? Uh, right now on Airbnb, I charge one eighty five per night. Yeah, but I'm paying for everything like utilities, internet, all the stuff. Mm -hmm. 
uh, cleaning. Right. Okay. Yeah, and maintenance. Is it is it cash flowing at least a little bit right now? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Because I, I got uh, interest rate was terrible, like seven percent three years ago. Because right. Yeah, it, it's not primary resident; it's investment. Mm -hmm. Sure. Stuff. But, but mm -hmm. still, yeah, it's some positive. Oh, that's I'm, good. I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it's at least breaking even, then and you're learning how to run that, that mm -hmm. seems like a win for sure. And then if rates come down. Then you you know you know you're gonna cash flow up to that. Yeah, I can refinance. Now I'm thinking maybe for long term, so it's less, less you know stress, less whatever. Just rent it out for a year or two, and that's it. Right. Okay. Excellent. And are you gonna stay in the Sarasota area, or have you looked at any other markets? I'm looking Miami very okay. closely, but my, Miami the price go up so so especially like on the high rises mm -hmm. with ocean view. Yeah. Price go very very high. Yeah, that seems like one of those, you know, markets kind of like L.A. Mm -hmm. or New York or something. So yeah. You think Miami. Why Why Florida? I don't know, because my friend has an experience and he shared and I never been there. So. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So when when you came to this country, you said 20 some odd years ago, uh -huh. where did you first live? Uh, in Canada. <laughs> okay. In in this Canada country is Mich not Canada. Yeah, Michigan and New York. Okay. Wow. I was Michigan. That's the only company that were able to do the green card for us. Oh, I see. Okay. But how was it living in Michigan? Oh, terrible. Yeah? Yeah. And New York? Uh, Not just any better? Just six months. We couldn't handle more than six months. Yeah. And then, so what brought you out to California? Oh, that's my ex dream to live in California. Oh. Yeah. But I'm still looking for my dream where to live. So maybe it's Florida. I don't know. I'm still looking. Okay. Got it. Nice. And so what got you into real estate in the first place? Um, I, I was raising my kids until they growing a little bit. I had choice to do the child care stuff or real estate. So I chose this one. Nice. <laughs> pretty happy with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because I need like for free, free time to drive kids to school and activities, all the stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, so being an, a real estate agent gave you that free time oh that goodness, you needed. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good choice. Yeah. yeah. And so now, tell me about uh, your clientele. Do you do you like dealing with maybe the uh, Russian people, or do you deal with everybody? I I deal with everybody right now. A lot of Persian people for some reason okay. I, I attract a lot. Yeah, and, and I'm even started to learn Persian, Durut Bar Shoma, for example. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, they look at me like they don't trust. As soon as I said Durut Bar Shoma, they're my friends. Wow, what <laughs> yeah. does that mean? Uh, it's like, hi, how are you? Very, very old Persian language. Ah. Young, younger don't know that. Oh, I just know Ola. Yeah, that's not Persian. It's not Persian. No, it's not. It's Spanish. <laughs> yeah. But we are in California, and mm -hmm. Florida is not much different. There's lots of Cubans there, Puerto Ricans. You can get by with Spanish, Spanish. speakers. Yeah, Spanish. You, you've never learned Spanish. I was trying to. Yeah, I can learn. No problem. I, yeah. I like to learn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I pass a lot of tests, like mortgage loan generator, insurance, all this stuff. I let, like to learn and get new knowledge. Yeah. That's good. You should be a lifelong learner. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody should. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Never stop learning. Keep your brain sharp. Now, you mentioned um, the insurance in Florida, and we're kind of having a similar situation out here where insurance companies were just leaving, right? Or is that sort of the same thing happening in Florida? Or what was no, going they on? Just, they're just watching if your windows... Um, some kind of protected from the um, whatever um, so many miles per hour wind that's the mm. big point for them and how mm. old is the roof mm -hmm. that's what they're watching looking for and uh, if it's in a flood zone or not the rest okay is okay oh really okay mm -hmm. so you can still get insurance there no yeah. problem okay yeah is it is it because I do some wholesaling out there is it if the roof is older than 10 years you have to get it replaced or what, what? no oh, okay you don't have to no okay gotcha in, in in order to list it on the market, does the roof have to be a certain age or anything like that? 
uh, you can tell, it, and it's very huge difference between California and Florida, that in Florida you have no contingency period. As soon as you sign contract, you're done. If you cash, you never change your mind. Only if you have a good lender who's your friend who can say, okay, he's not approved if you change your mind. Mm. It's very, very, yeah, dangerous. Like, don't, don't do, be cash buyer in Florida. Do they give you all the disclosures to begin with? Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's... Because I know in Northern California, that's the way mm-hmm. they do it. They do up They front. put all the disclosures and everything online, do it everything up front, mm-hmm. so that at least you can look at that to see yeah. if you even want the place or not. Yeah. So it sounds like Florida's pretty f- similar. Mm-hmm. Okay. But once you put your money in escrow, it sounds like pff, that's it. You either Unless do the deal say- <laughs> or lose the money, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how much... How much do they usually want you to put down for the initial deposit? Like five thousand, ten thousand, not much. Okay. Yeah. Not much. Hit. Listen to that. Yeah. Not much. That's a lot <laughs> of money for some people. Ooh, not okay. Her. She's yeah. got money burning in her pocket. She That's said. a good problem to have. Yes. Yeah, you got people saying like, "Oh, hold on a second. Wait a second. Wait till the the prices come down." But you know, one thing oh, I that's love just is just like. <sighs> Man, over 40 years, that's all I've heard is wait till the prices come down. Right. And then, you know, I, they never do. And I have people call me back and, Joe, I should have listened to you. I should have invested three or four years ago. And look where we're at now. I go, I told you. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, it's, yeah. it's honestly, it's like, honestly, like right now, I think interest rates will hopefully get down to 6%. But the minute they do, it's going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. Prices are going to go right back up again. Because yeah. everybody's going to go out there and, you know, start bidding on properties, maybe even in Florida. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, in California, I have a lot of clients who are waiting for three, four years. I don't know what they wait yeah. for. There's, yeah, there's no reason to be waiting, you know, because, yeah, you can wait. The interest rate's down at 6%, but now the price of the home has gone up, you know, 7 or 8%. Right. So what good did that do? Yeah, no, exactly. And, yeah. and that's what I love is, like, you had the money, you had the cash, you're like, I'm going to do this. And so you just basically put in an offer sight unseen. But, you know, you realized, okay, maybe this isn't the best one, but that didn't deter you. And you bought another place and you're like, I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to people that are just, they're just scared? They're like buying something out of state just freaks people out. It depends on the state, probably. Uh, uh, I'm thinking like I would buy where I don't mind to leave myself. Probably I wouldn't buy it in Detroit because I live there. I don't want to live there anymore. But Florida, uh, I came there and I like it. So if something happened, at least I have a place to live. So just if you have money, just buy real estate. You, you couldn't do wrong with real estate. Sooner or later, it will appreciate. Right? Yeah. Don't be scared and learn on the way. Sooner exactly. or later. Got to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. That's great. And then now you have a, you know, cash flowing asset. Um, so describe, I mean, how, how much of a difference is it being an agent here versus being an agent there? I just got my license for it. I never been an agent, but at okay. least I, I know what to do. It's such a fun. Just drive on the street in each block. You have one or two abandoned houses, mm. like totally. And you can find people who live there and I, I want to go there and farm. It, it's going to be much easier than here. You knock at the door in California and they no, we're not selling. No, we're not selling. But in Florida, it's, I don't know, it's so many homes that could be easy like for sale or they, they, they don't know they're going to sell. But if you show them the money, they will right. sell it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, mm-hmm. and, and I know that uh, Governor DeSantis just passed a law, the legislator, he, he signed it, um, about squatters. Because he saw what uh, is happening in New York and here in California as mm-hmm. well. Um, so he just passed a new squatters law that basically gives the police the right to go in and remove squatters. Um, have you ever dealt with anything like that? Like your Airbnb? Like have you ever... S- Don't had, say that. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had somebody that said, uh, yeah, I'm not moving? No? No. Oh, good. No. <laughs> yeah, we'll find some wood. Here, so some wood right here <laughs> you can knock on. Okay. Have you ever dealt with any of that stuff? I, I mean, I have. Um, we've we've dealt with that. We've dealt with evictions and stuff like that. It's not a it's not an easy thing to do, but I was just curious if 
over your career you've you've done any of that you've dealt with for myself no my friends who's a realtor and broker they they did and i know the best guy who can evict people okay his name is steve right everybody knows him yes so he can evict them but myself no i never deal with that okay hopefully you'll never have to yeah yeah I think it's usually like the But fake. Alex likes doing it. He he Oh, I he, love squatters. He loves squatters. I just love them. He, They're he, the he best. He likes to film it, you know? It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's usually like vacant houses like you said, which you know, Florida has quite a few, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, then they find those and then once they're in, um then that's the trouble. But what's crazy is now um People are like putting up blogs or putting up videos on how to actually get around the squatter rights yeah. and how to ev- ev- evoke squatters rights. Yeah. And so they'll go in, they'll find a house that is vacant even for a little bit, change the locks, put the utilities in their name and, and do all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, depending on what state, but luckily DeSantis saw the problem with that. But mm-hmm. um, like Illinois, Chicago area, it's like they have like a nine month eviction process, whether you live there or not. Um, New York's pretty bad. New, New York's like 10 years. They say. Yeah. Well, it's some, crazy. Yeah. And I saw a video. I think it's it's gone viral recently where a lady was trying to get the squatter out and yeah. then the cops came and arrested and her. arrested her. Yeah. Wow. Which is nuts. But yeah. Um, people are kind of taking the problem back into their own hands, which is nice. So there's, Mm -hmm. there's been these groups that are popping up that can help you get rid of the squatters. They basically like move in and then squatter the squatter. Squatter (laughs) the squatter. Yes. So they'll move in and they're like, we're going to film everything. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. We're here. We have given you 24 hour notice. We, um, we're sent here by the owner. And so we're here to give you a 24 hour notice for inspection tomorrow. And then they show up the next day and, okay, we're here. You have to let us in. And I saw one where they literally kicked the back door in, <laughs> you know, and then you know, all the squatters that were in there basically started to leave. And yeah. so once they left, they started moving all their stuff out yeah. onto the street. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, because the cops show up and they're like, well, this is a civil matter. Right. So we can't, right. They're can't not going to do anything. anything, which is, you know. Kudos to DeSantis that he sees all this stuff happening and government should step in in that situation, Mm -hmm. you know, instead of letting private individuals uh, do it. And somebody somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So kudos to him. Yeah. And it seems like, you know, he's kind of on because it's a red state. It's like he's kind of more for the, I guess, property owner than the other person. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, so talk about your experience being a Southern California agent. What What is that like? Um, I, I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't have experience like to compare with some something else. That's why I started okay. from Coldwell Banker and uh, yeah, I ended up with Joe and I'm still learning every day. I try to learn every day something new. Yeah. And I love it. I love what I do. Yeah, you I have s- a deal going on right now, correct? Yeah, I'm closing escrow um, in Irvine. Yeah. Okay, and how did you end up with that deal? What talk us through how you met the client and you know what's the process and all that about? Yeah, I just uh, hold open house for somebody okay. totally different agent who okay. has no time to hold open house his own open open house. So I hold it for one weekend, and this guy came looking for. Um, he's downsizing, sold his house, big house, and looking for something smaller. Uh, that's how. So I show him a few homes and wrote an offer, and here you are. So you didn't you didn't sell him the home you were doing the no, open house. No. Okay, but you ended up acquiring a buyer yeah. because of the open house, mm-hmm. which is awesome. That's, that's yeah, a good that's, way to do it. That's yeah, very easy <laughs> to 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 acquire new new people. Yeah, new, yeah. new clients. Yeah. Good. And and I think that's the thing about uh, real estate agents. You know, you you have to be out there doing something. You know, if you're not out there, you know, front facing, uh, doing open houses, cold calling. I know you do door knocking as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't recommend, but that's because I'm old. And I don't like seeing women knocking on doors. And I've and I think I've told you don't go in. You make an appointment and maybe come back with somebody else with you. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm I thinking never go of your inside. safety. I just knocked. And, okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, I know, I know you've told me all these things that you're door knocking and all that stuff. And, and that's awesome. You have to, we, when you're a real estate agent, you have to go out and do these things because you're not doing these things. You're literally just sitting at home doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen you at the OCAR events. All events. Yeah. Yeah. Learning, having the free food. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Joe's yeah. there. That's why you see Joe there. <laughs> I saw you at the last one, the one we just had, was it Monday? On Monday, right? Yeah, Monday. <laughs> well, I saw you. Didn't Why you didn't, see me? I saw you. You were sitting with the guy like n next row, but you never looked at me. So. Oh, oh. I, I, I looked at you. you just, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head nod. <laughs> I looked at you. I saw okay. you. Yeah. I thought you saw me and, you know, you were going to come over, but you didn't because you probably have better friends than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. You, would sit, you sat with your better friends. Yeah, cool. The, the, did the you cool like kids. the lunch? Um, yeah. It's a there box lunch. Come on. It's like fine. when I first started, we literally used to go to a like a, a, a golf course, oh. you know, restaurant and have a sit down served meal. And, and now we're at box gone. lunches. Like, yeah. what's next? <laughs> They're Just a bag throw, of chips. Throw some McDonald's at us or something. <laughs> oh, that would be expensive. No, you know? well, bag of chips from Costco. Oh, there you go. <laughs> bag of chips. It's like we were there for a long time. We were there for what two hours? Yeah. Yeah. Go about Hutchinson two hours. And yeah. After that, Stephen did you Thomas, get some yeah. good information from? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I think I, I did too as well. I'm just uh, amazing. Wrong. And so, what do you think about? Uh, the NAR decision and uh, what's going to happen with that? What, what, what? Get your crystal ball out and tell us what you think is going to happen in the future. Okay, many real estate agents are going to quit, which is very good for us. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just true. Yeah, whoever true. is working like a part time or as a hobby, they're not going to stuck in here. So that that's very good. So, and we need to work on our bio like tell us about why why the clients want to choose us and they will understand that if they want to work you, you're going to work for them Th that's that's very good we're going to end it up anywhere there like but in florida you cannot double uh double end but here probably should be the same rule they won't let you double end On over florida, there no. really mm -hmm. wow yeah i i i think what's going to happen is very similar to what you just said and i think at the beginning you're going to have buyer's agents just go directly to the listing mm -hmm. agents and go from there. Now, is the listing agent going to get two commissions out of that deal or the seller's going to say, yeah, I'm paying you one. Why would I pay you more? Well, I'm doing double the work. Well, no, you're kind of really doing, you know, the work for both of us. Uh, so we'll see. I think that's going to be the progression. Um, and then if the market changes or, uh, I mean, we're in a seller's market now. If it changes to a buyer's market, then I think uh, buyer's agents will be okay because the sellers are going to have to say, I'm going to pay you a commission. It may not be advertised on the MLS, but if you know, if you want to sell your house, you're going to have to offer something to a buyer's agent. Yeah. So I think, I think you know, it's disruptive, but we'll go through that process and end up better agents and people at the end of the day. Yeah, and I saw, I think, Jerry Norton put out a video today where he was talking about he would use the double dip to get on-market wholesale deals and flips. So he would have the, you know, that listing agent represent himself. And then, um, so he was just basically saying, like, he would offer an extra fee to the agent so they could still kind of double dip. Well, we kind of do that mm -hmm. already, you know. Um, you know, commissions are the lifeblood of any real estate agent. Yeah. And if I had a listing and you came to me and said, uh, you know, would you represent me? Um, I'd say, absolutely. I'd represent you, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, would that give you a better chance of getting a deal? Yeah, absolutely. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you sweeten the deal with a little. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, cash. I think you, like I said, I think you'll see a lot more of that. Um, you know, coming to fruition after they say July, but who knows what's going on. Yeah, it's probably going to get pushed out. Yeah, who knows. But, yeah, I think you're right. Like, it's going to 
it's gonna make, cause people to you know not want to do it, which means more opportunities for the people that stick around. Yeah. Do we have some guests, Lauren? Some guests, comments, yeah. comments. We've got one. You know who it is. It's our resident regular, Liz, <laughs> okay. and she says <laughs> hi. Hi. <Okay. laughs> I was. Nice. Um, we do have some videos that I'm gonna play, not of you, but um, <laughs> they, <laughs> I want to get your I want to get your reaction. Yeah, we um, took the videos in secret <laughs> the other day. Wait, Natalie, no, I don't want to stress you out. No, I, I think I remember Natalie. Weren't you putting in our agent uh, WhatsApp that you knew an agent or had a client that like was up to no good at some open houses and they were caught on a ring camera? Was that you? No. No, okay. I thought that was someone <laughs> no, else. I don't even remember that one. <laughs> it was like when we first made the chat and I was getting a kick out of it, but I thought yeah. that'd be a good story. No. No, I don't else. remember that one. Okay, mm. sorry. What what do you have to show us? We got Grant Cardone up first. Here we go. Buying a house, worst investment oh. you'll ever make in your entire life. Let's say you paid a million dollars for a house. Average house here is 576. 576 is what you paid. Now you need 12% for broker fees. Let's say you keep the house 10 years. You need 10% in maintenance fees. It's 1% a year in maintenance fees. It's about 2% in property taxes every year. That's 20%. Two times 10 is 20. And it's probably 7% to the bank, so that's 70%. Total those up, it's 112%. $576,000 home will have to be sold for $1.2 million in 10 years. You're not to sell it for that to break even dead money and you had to put 100 grand down to do this deal. they're serving a master they'll borrow money from the bank of america and then if they can get some more money they'll have a little retirement account that funds wall street this is a big game bro rather than buying one house rent where you live and take that 100 grand and go buy a piece of real estate where other people live i just don't need to own a home on the way up i need to own assets that pay me on the way up and once I have enough cash flow from the assets, then if I want to go buy a house or a watch or a car, I buy it out of the passive income. Buying a house, worse. He took a little while to get there, but what do you think about that? Oh, what should I tell about that? Um, uh, I don't know if it's relative or not. Right now, a very good program for it called debt equity. Mm -hmm. Like people who um, own paid off houses, like like. Uh, um, they want downside, but they don't want to sell the house. Mm. The lender will provide like up to 85% of this equity and to buy them other home. So they okay. can rent this out, the, the current house uh, rented out and to buy some smaller. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. I'm too stressed out. So Joe, help me. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I think the idea was what he's making. The click title is like buying a house is the worst investment you can make your primary residence. So yeah. I think he's saying rent, rent where you live and then go buy other pieces of real estate like your property out in Florida and then once you have enough cash flow then buy your primary residence. It could be because I'm renting right now in California, I cannot afford to buy here. Even if I buy, uh, it's the mortgage is going to be like 8,000. I, I I couldn't do it at this no no big reason for me. Yeah. For right now it could be mm -hmm. when the market if market change a little bit, maybe I can afford to buy in California. Or yeah. does he what buy? Are your thoughts? Does he buy multifamily? Oh yeah, he's in a bunch of okay. schemes. Yeah, I, I would. I would say I think he's talking more about multifamily instead well, of single family. No, I think he's talking about single family too. He's basically I, saying know, uh, it's the you rich buy, dad. You buy a primary residence because you have a family that needs to live someplace. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you have a family that needs to live someplace, then why just not buy a primary residence mm -hmm. that you could deduct the interest uh, payment on, mm. you can deduct your property taxes on. Oh. So there's a lot of benefits. Sure. He, I don't think he went over any of those benefits whatsoever. Well, it doesn't make for a good clickbait. Yeah. Um, so I disagree with uh, his oh. premise. Oh, yeah, shots but, fired, you know, he's He's, you know, like million, million, millionaire, and that's yeah. fine, you know. I, I just, if you have a family, you have to, you have to live someplace. Yeah. Uh, why are you paying somebody else's mortgage off? Okay. Very good point. I mean, I've got uh, several properties that my tenants over the years have paid the mortgage off. I, well, I didn't that's pay what anything, he's saying. You know, he's saying go buy those first, and yeah. then with that cash flow, you can buy. Yeah, your but 
you know, you've heard the expression, happy wife, happy life. True. Yeah. So <laughs> my wife's not going to be happy living at my investments. <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. She's not no, living in Lake Elsinore. You, yeah, you know where the investments are. <laughs> She's not going to be happy there. So yes, that's why. why I disagree. It's like, okay. you know, owning your own house is, you know, the American dream anyway. So yeah. um, there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. There you go, Grant. Shove it. What do we got next? <laughs> um, next up, why I'm investing in Florida real estate right now. Hey, so can you tell me three things you love about Florida? Three things that I love about Florida, especially because we're new to the state, is number one, the, the migration that's coming into Florida. It's the number one migrating state in all of America. Uh, number two, the weather. We're over 300 days of sun uh, in a year, which is fantastic coming from Canada. This is huge for us because we, we wouldn't get any sun there. And number three is the business opportunities with all the uh, immigration or the migrants coming into the town. That It's, it's in the, uh, the booming stages, so I definitely want to be here in the, uh, the starting phase of this. Hey, so Ooh, can you do you have any others you could add to that list? Sarasota, it's like fifth on the beach, uh, Siesta Key Beach. It's the number one beach in, in the whole United States. The sand is so white. It's not yellow, not brown, just white. I've never seen that white sand before. Wow. Yeah. Beach is amazing, especially for kids. It's not huge wave, not dangerous at all. You can stay in the water for hours. So warm, so, so quiet. How do you know that? You've done that personally? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, nice. She went swimming while she was there. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went, uh, I visited my sister. She's in St. Augustine. And it was like, I don't know, 80, you know, outside. And then you go, you're like, okay, I'm going to go cool off like over here. <laughs> and you get in, it's like 80 degree water. I'm like, wait a minute, am I sweating in the ocean right now? <laughs> I think it was a lot hotter than 80 degrees. Yeah. It was August. So. Yeah, it was, but it was, it's, it's nice. Very it's nice. That's <laughs> very nice. Very okay. nice. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Okay, let's see. We got one more. When realtors should fire their clients. Hmm. This is when real estate agents should fire their clients. I recently had one of those challenging clients, and this is what I did. I took a listing here in Santa Leo Hills, and everything seemed to be good at first. I brought dozens of interested buyers to this client that were ready to close the deal. But the seller started changing their terms. They started changing their mind about everything. They continued to waste my time, even though I had already done the work. Most agents would continue fighting and butting heads with the client. But this just makes them more angry and cost you more time. So I politely told the client that this was not working out and that they should find a new agent. The next time you have a crazy client, remember that you are always in control. Share this with a realtor who's had a challenging client. This is when no one's had Ooh. a challenging client here. Ooh. Have you had challenging clients? Uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes when somebody uh, contact me and they said, oh, you know what? I, I work with one, two, five realtors. They're so bad. So bad. That's a red, red flag for me. That means I'm the next bad one. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what's usually happened. Yeah, and uh, also a friend of my realtor said, we just talk and said, oh, such a client, it, it's terrible. She's just wasting time so for so long. What's her name? Such, such name. Oh, I know her. So she just contact uh, all realtors. I think we should have like a website where the bad, bad clients are. So yeah, everybody can blackballed. check that. <laughs> yeah. Bad clients and a bad realtor website yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like, pretty good. Yeah. We should. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they can rate us like on Google Business and Zillow and stuff. Yeah, you should be able to rate them back. back. Yeah. 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 That's wow. that's kind of like uh, the ride share thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, if, Five stars. Yeah, but <laughs> you can rate you can rate the passenger back yeah. too, right? Mm -hmm. yes, can't, you can. can't yeah. Threw up in the back can. of the car. Yeah. That's a one star. Was, was, yeah. Was passed out the passed entire out, time. Stunk. Yeah, only yeah. only gave me a dollar. Oh man, you know, it's hard out there. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. We should get that, but yeah, I, I don't foresee that happening. Yeah, and it, it stinks because you know, like if you're an agent, and you're coming up, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is my first client. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. But you don't realize you're about to go through like six months of hell with this person. You know, so yeah. I think it takes the I, maturity. Yes, to, experienced agent to know when it's time to, you know let them loose and go bother somebody else. Yeah. yeah, to go on escrow, it's like a 
like a little marriage, right? You meet a per person, you know everything about him, about the family, then you go to escrow and you know like whatever he demanding, whatever he's happy, not happy, and then you close escrow, like, okay, we divorced. But after that, <laughs> yeah. after that, you know, like you, if you're going to mm -hmm. deal with this client or not, right? right. It's, it, it's like, mm -hmm. a, yeah. Yeah. You mean you don't follow up with your clients and give them gifts and I do. keep track of them? Yeah, I say happy you, birthdays. Or do you divorce all of them? But if you divorce, uh, you, it doesn't have you it doesn't have to be enemies, right? You can yeah. be good well, friends. Well, most divorces are. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, you could stay friends. <laughs> <laughs> How many divorces you got? Yeah. I don't have any. So on first I talk to a lot of women that are just angry at their exes. No, you don't have to be. I know you don't have to be, <laughs> but that just seems to to be the pattern the way it works out. I think that's just the one yeah. meetup you go to. It's like what, filled the with divorce like... women <laughs> for real estate meetup. Yeah. I should, I should start one because there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> yeah. And for some reason, they seem to continue to call me. I yeah. don't know why. Oh, yeah. You know, lay it all out. I'm just a good listener, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I talked to one. Uh, it was it was one. Who was it? I think it was a lender. And he was he was saying basically like we were trying to do this subject to deal. And we ended up pulling out of it because we found out that it was this couple. They were getting divorced. They wanted to sell the property, subject to. And then we find out that the um, the wife had, like, already gone through, like, five agents, like you said, because she wasn't qualified for a house, but she was making these people take her around to, mm -hmm. like, eight open houses over the weekend, and she couldn't even, you know, put in an offer. And so finally they get fed up and we're like, you know what, we're done. We're done with this. But I don't think people realize how much of a waste of time that is. Two, yeah. two years ago, and, and understand I've been doing this for over 40 years, I had a, a client called and said she wanted to list her house. I said, okay, you want me to meet you at your house? Yeah, come over to my house at you know such a time. So I went mm -hmm. over there and knocked on the door and uh, looked inside and she said, well, are you hungry? Do you want to go eat? I go, no, I already ate, but you know, thank you. <laughs> she insisted that I take her out. Mm -hmm. So I took her out and I'm thinking, well, you know, normally when you invite somebody, you pay, right? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I paid <laughs> for dinner. Mm -hmm. She ordered two dinners <laughs> yeah. and she took one home with her. <laughs> yeah. And then I went back and she lets me inside the house, and she's in the process of rehabbing the house. Mm -hmm. And so I start walking in, and I'm walking in the kitchen. She goes, oh, no, be careful. Don't step there. Don't step there. They just put that tile in like a week ago. I'm, I'm like, wh why are you inviting me here to look at this stuff? Yeah. And like, I was like feeling way uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and I said, okay, you know what, lady? Have a nice day if you... When you're ready, when this thing's done, call me back. I'm still waiting by the phone. <laughs> you call me back. Do you look it up yeah. every once in a while to see if no, you sold it? No, okay, yeah, I don't yeah, do I any know, of that I stuff. I just let it's it in go. in the past. Gosh, if I looked up everything oh, yeah. that people have done, mm -hmm. it's like, that's all I do. Yeah. You know, just, I, a, I just let things go. That's a savage mood, though. Move. Yeah. Invite you over, yeah. trap you, like, and then get two dinners. That's the first dinners. time that's ever happened. You know, yeah. I meet mean, people for for lunch. They usually buy coffee. They usually buy, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, this was just such a weird thing. She spent all really the was. money on the rehab, and she's like, "That's what she does every night to get yeah. dinner." I don't, <laughs> I, yeah, maybe she's inviting other agents to <laughs> yeah. take her out to dinner or something. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably on the dating apps too, getting dinner <laughs> that way. Well, I don't, I don't, <laughs> one I don't, now and one. To I want to be nice, but I don't think she's on the dating <laughs> okay. apps. If you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. Wow. Fun times. Um, what do you, so Natalie, what, what can you, what do you need in your business right now? Do you need more leads? Do you need more clients? Let people know how they can reach out to you and how you can help them. Yeah. I need to be more organized. I need to contact previous clients because this is very good source of the referral and yeah, just concentrate on the business because the huge wave of work is coming. Yep. As soon as interest rate will go down, we're going to have a lot of buyers running around and they need good realtors. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's now, these are the clients you have not divorced yet that you're going to reach out to, right? <laughs> you still or you're going to reach out to them, too. I, I will reach everybody. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Love that. And how can people get a hold of you? By email or what's the best way? Uh, I'm going to advertise on the Facebook. And I'm a member of the I sign up with Power Agents. They very good have a very good program. Okay. Like, yeah, on the Facebook, on all social medias. And, nice. Yeah. And how all, can our listeners look you up? Uh, yeah, you can contact me on my phone number. Yeah, go ahead. 949 or um, email California Realtor Natalie at Gmail. Perfect. That's, that'll be put on all the dating apps very pretty soon. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes, she doesn't mind. Amazing. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you so much for. You know, coming and, and chatting with us. We had to talk you into it for a second there. You know, yeah. you Thank you guys for it. inviting me. <laughs> yeah, we do have sure. a couple more comments oh, from we do? Madeline. Okay. Okay. Um, she was talking about the rent versus buy controversy. And she yeah. says, we've always used the rent versus buy calculator and it hasn't meant, made sense for us since we've moved a few times. Mm. So I guess if you're moving a lot, you don't get that appreciation. Correct. Yeah. Um. And then she also, on the rating system, said uh, Uber driver smoking weed in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, you get one picked star. Up, yeah, you get picked up in San Clemente. That's like probably 50 50 chance it's going to happen. <laughs> really? No, I'm just kidding. I don't oh, know. I try okay. to pick some spot, maybe okay. Huntington. I just picture what is it? The dazed and confused Matthew yeah, McConaughey yeah. jumping out of the van. Yeah, exactly. All the smoke billowing. Out <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah. I'll get the next one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. That's good stuff. Thank you, Madeline. Yep. <laughs> yep. Thanks for chiming in. And uh, yeah, you guys, please share this far and wide. Share this with your friends, any new or experienced investor. And, um, you know, if you guys have somebody that you think would make a good guest, then reach out to us and uh, we'll get Definitely. you that link. And Definitely. then um, we'll see you at the meetup and we'll see you next week. Thank you guys so much. Thank see you, you later. advice on real estate investing, reach out to us one-on-one. -on -one.